Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode and you might be wondering Drew I can't see any green, Drew I can't see any plants well this is because I'm recording this in my house we are actually going to be testing the pH of our normal soil so the soil that um so, so, so the soil that is in our beds that we haven't touched the soil, and our ericaceous soil, which is uh, which is where our in which is, the soil is in our blueberries, um, our blueberry plant is in, and we're testing whether we need to, uh, whether the soil needs to be more acidic. So to do this, I've got a red cabbage, I've got ericaceous soil, and I've got um some just some normal garden soil, and I have a knife here. I've already got some water boiling, and this um the way I learned to do this is it was actually a science experiment that I had to do for homeschooling. So I am just going to get cutting the red cabbage now. Oh, would help if I hold held the knife the right way around. So I'm just cutting this uh, down two sides. I'll just take that. So we've already got some water boiling actually, that, uh, it'll be alright for a minute, I'll be quick, well, I'll obviously be careful, but oh God, uh, right, so that's pretty all the red cabbage we need, and so now I'm going to pour it. So this will take about four to six minutes to boil, or to get the water that we want. So and then, um, by the end of that, that should go a, a dark blue. And uh, so uh, at about that time, we will come back um, to test our soil. And we're doing this to create a red cabbage universal indicator, um, just to test our soil. So, well, you can see the colour of the water is changing. It was obviously what normal colour water is, which is obviously clear. And now it's turning into a blue. So how long have we got left on the timer? We have, oh, well, it's still five minutes, hasn't even, but I think we might uh, stop it a little bit early. Um, so the cabbage is, well, the cabbage is nearly done. Um, we, I, so I've got all the equipment that I need to. So I've got a, a sieve. I've got a pan which the water is going to go in. I've got like where you put your, your, your tiramisu in. I've got that um, which we're going to be putting the water in and we're going to be using a ladle to do that. Then we will be putting in our soil, our ericaceous, then we will do our normal garden and we will see the difference. So you can see the water is steaming hot and we've got our sieve here and I'm just going to pour the liquid. So the liquid's going to sift through and the red cabbage will stay, well, the fear is, the red cabbage will just stay there, right. So that can go there. So we'll take the sieve off that now and we'll just put it on top of the pan, like so. So um, I've got the ladle of water. Well, it's not a full ladle, but we don't really need a lot. I can always get more. Right. So you can see the colour is a, like a, a light a little, a, a blue to dark blue. Um, so I'm going to now take the soil and I'm going to just take it and I'm going to put it in there like so and then... So I'm just going to give it a stir now. So you can see the colour is starting to go black. We'll let that sit there for a minute. So um, so here I've just pulled up. So this is on my homework. I've just pulled it for my science. So I've just pulled up all of this. So this is like acid and then it... And then so like this is sort of a neutral area. And then this is alkaline. And so we've got a black. So our pH is around a seven to an eight uh the i'm just gonna bring the dish up so you guys can see uh so yeah you can see the liquid is a black color 
um, you can see the liquid is you can see the liquid is sort of a black color so it's about a pH seven to eight um so we're and so we're we'll just we'll just we'll just tip the water into the garden because it's only cabbage and then our acidic soil which is probably a bit neutralized now but yeah and then we're gonna do the normal soil so I've got the next ladle ready to go. So I'm just going to pour that in. Right. So now we're going to do the normal soil. So I'm going to take a few bits. Right. So now I'm just going to give it a stir. So I'm just going to give it a stir now. So we added a little bit more and now I'm just stirring. So it seems to be a second look that um, it's actually not black, it's actually, it hasn't changed much at all with both of them. Um, so we actually think we've got slightly alka al al uh, alkaline soil um, and that's what also with our aerocation soil which is meant to be acidic. And we think this is because we've actually been doing, using tap water to water instead of rainwater from our water bottle. And so we bought some sulphur and hopefully this will start to bring our pH level down because it isn't quite uh, right. So in another video we will be um, adding some sulphur to our uh, blueberry pot. So guys obviously saying that we need to address. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a slightly different episode. We did it from the, well I did it from the comfort of my home. It was a bit of a different episode. But uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. As always, if you want me to do some more tests on our soil in a couple weeks time or something, let me know in the comment section down below um, because we might have to test A again and that could be in another video. But um, I hope you enjoyed today's Grow Your Imagination upload. So there's two videos here. One is the neem neem oil, and which we spray which we sprayed on a few of our plants. And the other one is the samphire, which you guys have seemed to be absolutely loving at the moment. It's one of my best viewed videos. Um, so but I recommend the samphire one. But you can check out the neem oil on the, uh, my channel and go check out some other of my video. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The video is about to end. Bye guys.